Alrighty, so starting off today and finishing today with this wonderful blue-black control deck for the Pioneer format. So, unlike Inverter, we're not playing a two-card combo. Wait, yes we are. Um, so the, the two-card combo, or let's say like multiple two-card combos we're playing in this wonderful blue-black control deck are Days Undoing. So Days Undoing says two and a blue. Each player target or shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library, then draws seven cards. If it's your turn, end the turn. So we don't get to do any shenanigans after we've cast Days Undoing and have a full grip of seven cards. We're going to combine that with one of two cards, either one of our four copies of Narset, Parter of Veils. So this says each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. So if we cast a Days Undoing, they get one card back, we get seven, which is pretty gross. Uh, we can also combine that with Notion Thief. Notion Thief, Thief has Flash. It's a 3-1 for 4. It says if an opponent would draw a card except the first one they draw in each of their draw steps, instead that player skips that draw and you draw a card. So with Days Undoing, that means we're going to draw, oh, I I don't know, 14 cards? Uh, so, you know. <laughs> you can have some of what I'm smoking, which is the sweet, sweet uh, scent of freedom, my friend. No, I'm kidding. Um... So I found this deck in the 5-0 dump, uh, played by Faithless Brewing's Nuke Launch. So the rest of it that has been constructed around uh, this combination of cards is a blue-black control deck. We've also got Gaia Reach Sanitarium in the mana base, so that can draw lock our opponent. So it says each player draws a card and then discards a card. That also works beneficially with Narset and Notion Thief, so we can stop our opponent from even getting their draw phase. We can lock them on zero cards. So um, the rest of that we've put around this is a blue-black control shell. We've got Thoughtseize, we've got Fatal Push, we've got Opt to find combo pieces, Jace Prince Prodigy to be a bit of a lightning rod for removal, but also can start flashing back some of our spells. Ground the Lock as our split card for Terminate and Counterspell. Four copies of Brazen Borrower, so that's a good tempo tool against some of the more aggressive decks in the format. Some Heroes Downfall to deal with Planeswalkers. One copy Sinister Sabotage, one copy Languish, one copy Dig Through Time. So just a smattering of different cards here. And then uh, the sideboard has a similar approach. We're just going to be able to board in little bits and pieces to help ourselves in whatever matchups we run into. So earlier in the format, I had a blue-black control deck that was hanging out here somewhere, but I think I removed it, which makes sense. But we're going to hop into a Pioneer League and see how it goes. How's your day Alex, are we? Are you in full lockdown now? That's the wrong color. Colors Pioneer is blue. Yeah, it's like a teal, blue teal. Is my thing doing the thing yet? Uh. I need my new work playlist to go on my phone, but I don't. Should have done it. Self isolation. Yep, self isolation, social distancing, all those good things. It's not too bad up here yet, but we definitely need to be proactive. Keep our population safe. Right, let's do it. Against Menace forty two. Uh, so on the play. Uh, pretty much have everything we need here, so let's rock and roll. Let's 
chance we go tap land into Thoughtseize Opt here. Without knowing what we're against, I don't really feel like taking uh, four damage off the bat. Making potatoes. What kind of potatoes? Delicious potatoes? <sighs> Rug Elder Deep Fiend less later. Neat. Breathing pool, what the hell does that mean? Am I finally against Lotus Breach? I'm finally against Lotus Breach. I think... Oh, 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 am I? Oh, this is the blue-green ramp deck, I think. Okay. Got some reasonable tools for this matchup. Unexpected results. That, uh... That was not expected. All right, so they only have one more lands, though these growth spirals aren't particularly great yet. They're a little choked. Um, and we're going to be able to restrict when they're going to be able to play their growth spirals, so uh, if they want to draw their card. Good call. Good call. Alex with that sick format knowledge. And they got storage counters off of Majoring Network. Good thing I've got this field of ruin to blow it up. Okay, I think I'm gonna fire off this op, so we're looking for I don't think I need Narset against a deck that's like gonna have zero removal. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's getting better. Oh, it's all everything's coming up millhouse here. What are they doing? Oh, storage counter shirt. Sure. Thoughtseize, don't mind if I do. Believe we should be relatively well positioned against this deck. Yeah, I saw someone renting some of the cards for this last night. So they're upkeep growth spiraling. That ah, makes sense. So they get their card draw. That's fine. They did, in fact, hit a land. So I think... I think we're just playing Thoughtseize here, and then I can um, Field of Ruin at the end of their turn. All right, so this Ugin is... A much more immediate threat than anything else in their hands, so we're going to take that away. Probably should have activated the Narset first, if I was being smart. Days undoing. Oh, so I could just combo them now? But they only have two cards in hand, that seems a little... See, feels a little ambitious. Uh, I don't know if that's actually necessary. If I had a Gyre Reach in play, I would. It puts me up two cards right now. I think using my mana on the Field of Ruin first is probably more worthwhile. And then we can we can hit him with that next turn. Um, because of what their hand is, I'm just going to knock this thing out now. That was dumb. So they're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or seven. They can count it a different way. Seems like a pretty rough matchup for them. Uh, they should have Mystical Disputes off the sideboard, so we'll see what we can do at that point. Okay. So their hand is literally just Ulamog, so they can't do anything right now. So I think I'm incentivized to blow up their shrine and play my Notion Thief before I hit this Day's Undoing. I can also fire off this Fatal Push, probably, and... Well. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we gotta gotta do something about there. Okay. So if I field of ruin, I go down to one, two, three mana, and I have five cards in my graveyard. It does mean I exile some of these cards, but that's fine given the game state. Or I could just notion thief and go up to fourteen cards when I days undoing next turn. Seems reasonable. Okay, so actually the Notion Thief and the Narset don't work together, so I'm not going to get to draw extra cards off the Notion Thief. So I think it's still worth just just put the Notion Thief into play this turn, and then on their on my turn, uh, just cast Days Undoing. Okay, so since post days undoing, um, I'm going to lose all the cards in my hand and the turn will end. I'm going to knock down this grazer first. I'm going to field a shrine. And then I have three, so I get to cast the days undoing here. Uh, I'm going to grab a second black. Don't particularly not need to do so. Spin to win. Oh, it still did draw me the 14 cards. Neat. <laughs> okay. Uh, so one, two, three. Oop. Can I undo? Oh, I can. Sick. Mostly just discarding lands here. I don't necessarily need any of these. Don't need the opt. Don't need the push. Oh, I definitely didn't need the languish, but that's fine. I guess I kept a bunch of drown locks that are not particularly useful, but this draw locks them from this turn forward, so. And then we have um, Sinister Sabotage to take care of the rest. Oop, I was supposed to play the guy I reached there. Literally talked about it being a good thing to do. We're gonna be okay, folks. It's gonna be just fine. Uh, so I'm going to main phase this dig through time. Take a brazen board on my clock and opt. Okay, discard this language now. I could have kept... So they're up to 8 here. 9 for a creature. But I've got Sabotage, so... Get my Borrower into play. Double, double the hell out of this clock. <laughs> Double guy reach. It is in fact legendary. How do multiple replacement effects work together? So you're supposed to be able to choose which replacement effect uh, affects you. Um, this is oh okay. It's because I played it on my turn. I, I yes, I understand why why it worked the way it did now. Uh, so we're gonna upkeep stop on my opponent. Oh, and I missed my combat step because I'm really bad at this game. I was distracted thinking about the thinking about the rules and the interaction. So uh, the person who's affected, the problem is they didn't get to choose this time because they hadn't drawn an extra card. So Narset actually didn't kick into play on my turn. Only Notion Thief did. So they could have prevented me from drawing the extra seven if they had had... Um, My opponent played the last card out of their hand? Okay, that's definitely wrong. Um, 
So because Narset's replacement effect didn't work on my turn, because they didn't play a card, um, then they, uh, I was able to draw the full extra 7. That's why. And now with Gyre Reach set up, we just lock him out. I upkeep Gyre Reach them, right? I did do it, didn't I? What? They didn't have a card. Hmm. So damping sphere seems acceptable here, and then negate and mystical dispute are probably fine. I think all my fatal pushes go out. Nice, nice clean sideboarding there. I don't think I need Collector Brutality, Legion Zen, Noxious Grasp, Kali Toss. Uh, although this Languish is pretty bad. Heroes Downfall are acceptable because the, the fatties, some of them are Planeswalkers. So Ugin doesn't end the game on his own if I can just kill it when it comes down. Um, fine. Kalitas just gives me a little bit more aggression. My opponent asked about their graveyard, but I don't think I want Leyline here. I think they're just maybe casting, uh, trying to cast a Dig Through Time or something. Yeah, I'm just not like awake right now. I, I mean, I did run like. Five miles, but like, I, I, I swear I upkeep. Uh, this is reasonable. Let's keep this. I swear I did the upkeep Gyre Reach on them, and I think it they still got to draw their card, but I can't. What the hell? Hmm. Interesting. That's pretty good against Thoughtseize, huh? So Nefalia Academy reads, if a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard a card, you may reveal that card and put it on top of your library instead of putting it anywhere else. So this Thoughtseize is going to be less than great. But it's a colorless land in their two-color deck, so and they haven't played anything yet. Okay, it's a black source. I need that. I think I want to shock this watery grave and attempt to make them discard. I know it's going to go on top of their library, but it gets card out of their hand, so if it's a ramp spell... Okay, they, they were clever enough to fetch in response, so whatever it is, it's going to put, put it right back on top. So they're going to be able to draw it this turn, so it largely doesn't matter what I pick here, but it is going to rob them of a draw step. Um, okay, so they have... They have the colors they need for, for Growth Spiral or Mystical Dispute, but not both. They did, in fact, elect to put it on top, Kel Surprise. I opt to opt. Do I want another Mystical Dispute? Yes, I do. I'm going to play Fetid Pools here, and then on the next turn we're going to be able to hold up Notion Thief. Um, they only have one blue right now, which is pretty great for us. I'm going to counter this Growth Spiral. Their hand is pretty garbage, so I think they're in big trouble right now. If they rip the land, they can play unexpected results here, but yeah, they didn't. Um, I do need to be able to defend something that I play. Um, 
I can just fire off this Narset now, and then they can... Alright, so, no. So their hand has two playable spells, Mystical Dispute, Unexpected Results, and possibly a third one, they didn't draw land. What is this? Skylasher. This is not a Kudzu. Can't be countered. Reach. Protection from blue. Okay. Uh, they have their one blue open. So if I attempt to counter that... They... Sorry, not counter that. If I attempt to play my Notion Thief right now, they can counter my Notion Thief. And that'll be able to attack down my Narset. So... But it's a slower clock than Brazen Borrower, so I think at the end of their turn I'm just going to play Brazen Borrower. It can't be countered, watch out. Thanks. No, I, I didn't actually mean counter it. I literally just read the text on this card for the first time, so I'm aware it can't be countered. It, it highlighted in blue. And it also says it can't be countered. It says it twice. It's good. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, that's, that's fine. So we're going to play Brazen Borrower at the end of their turn, and... You've seen me play the card once. I don't believe you. I, I, I do actually believe you. I just I, I have no recollection of this moment. All right, so we're just going to play Brazen Borrower here. They're likely to Mystical Dispute this. They did not. Interesting. Good for them. They, uh, they understand what the priorities are here. I think, I think I can put on some good pressure here by attacking with this. I'm going to play Narset into their Mystical Dispute. I'm going to dispute their Dispute. And then hopefully they don't rip the... Well, here's a question. No, uh, the smarter line here is just let this happen. Um, and then if they unexpected results on their turn, I can dispute it. And then on the next turn cycle, I can fire off Notion Thief on their turn and Days Undo it on my turn. Sorry, your green-blue deck is incredibly vulnerable to the cards that are just played in this format. I apologize. Okay, so Notion Thief is better at the Days Undoing thing than Narset is. Narset does draw me cards. I guess since they're tapped down, I should just fire off whichever of these I'm intending to, and Notion Thief can't be attacked down. So I'm just going to jam him here. Oh no, they draw another one? Okay, so it says shuffle your library, reveal the top card. If it's a non-land card, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. If it's a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield and return unexpected results to its owner's hand. They reveal unexpected results. They reveal Skylasher. Okay. So they cast Skylasher. That's fine. Now the question is, do they attack with the, the second Skylasher? They do. Very well. So that puts me to 12. I actually cut my Fatal Pushes, so this is a reasonable amount of pressure on me. I think we just fire off the Days Undoing here, and sort of make our peace with the completely disgusting hand we're about to have. Other option is play Dig Through Time for 2 mana. Try to find my Kali Toss, but Days Undoing gets me way closer to that. See ya! Alright. So, oh, I have Hero's Downfall. Sick. Alright. So, discard that. Discard that. Discard that. Discard that. Discard that. It's actually a pretty medium hand. I think I only want two lands afterwards. That's fine. All right, cool. OK, 
Okay, opponent's got me on a pretty quick clock. But luckily for me, I did keep some copies of Heroes Downfall in my deck, and I can dig for my Kalitas, so it should be okay. And this can't block. It's a little slow. I'm going to put it on the bottom. So Narset cannot find me... Narset cannot find me, blah, 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 what are words? Uh, Kalitas, so I'm just going to fire off this Hero's Downfall on one of these guys. It's not what I want to do. So, it does mean I can't play anything here, but the chance of them top decking anything big they can actually cast... Five, six, seven. And yeah, they needed to draw a land in order to be able to play a larger spell. Cool. So opponent stops attacking, which is great. Hey, look. I can stop this from ever producing two. Super. So I think I could just pass the turn and Gaia reach them during the upkeep. So if I Notion Thief them during their upkeep, it means that I draw two and discard one, and they discard one. And then at the end of their turn, well, I can't currently play the second Notion Thief, but... Yeah, there's my replacement effect kicking in. Uh, I will discard Thoughtsies, thank you. You see the Planeswalker prison deck aspiring to play played in a re league recently? Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Enjoy that deck. It's awesome. I haven't played it yet, but I would like to play his uh, Planeswalker prison pals at some point. I don't know if that's how people retweet. Uh... I don't think I got um, a thing about it, but I, I'll look later properly because I would like to acknowledge your usage of social media. For your edification, I think you're using it well. I think that's a responsible use. That's exactly what you should do with it. If you've never heard the song Redneck Woman, it is a banger, and you need to you need to go get you some country all. Skinner, kid and straight. Some people look down on me, but I don't give a rap. Sean Kansky. Yeah. Face against the Sean Kansky. So I'm gonna keep this kind of medium hand. It's a little slow, but definitely gonna definitely gonna rock with this. Roy, did you ever hear of um, a TV show from the last couple of years called Brockmire? It's got uh, Hank Azaria as the star, one of the uh, sort of seminal voice actors of The Simpsons. Question applies to you also, Alex. Oops. Yeah, I only I only would sort of watch the first. Oh my god, are we against the same deck again? I hope so. This is gonna be a massacre. Uh, it could be something different. Okay, uh, Choked Estuary can't possibly come into play untapped right now. So, um, whereas Drowned Catacombs could within the next couple turns, so I think I'm leading on Estuary. And then next turn we're going to play Thoughtseize plus probably Tapland. Yeah, Thoughtseize, Tapland, and then, and then we'll get trucking from there.
Yeah, it's the same deck. Oh, Gabe. Why you gotta do this to me? So if I'm playing a tap land here, this is a better one to play. Because then I could potentially cast Narset next turn. Let's hit him with the Thoughtseize. The hand is Hour of Promise and nothing. Right, because they mull to five. Oh, mulling to five in the Orbeoriel Grazer deck is just the worst. That's like, it's even worse against this deck, where I'm going to draw lock in them. I'm going to draw lock them, like, very quickly. Uh, so I, I watched the first episode of it. It, it seemed pretty pretty funny. Good good character, good actor. Um, but what I was what it made me think of as as usual is like you know one of my running things is like I really hope that someday we get uh, this game is pretty over. I hope that someday we get someone who sounds more like a baseball announcer uh, commentating Magic the Gathering. And as is usually my case, as with MTG Kitchen and the rest of the the things that I do, I was like, well, why not you? So at some point, um, I'm going to pull up the replay of the last Rug Painter deck, or Rug Painter um, game that I played, and, uh, and and give it the give it the good old baseball commentary. Yeah, basically going to dub it. The question I have is like, baseball commentary always sounds like if an auctioneer slowed down to normal speed to me, anyways. Yeah, it's 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 got that very I don't know, kind of sing sing songy approach. All right, so growth spiral's fine here. Uh, I don't have a lot of counter magic in my main deck, so I'm gonna be looking to to get some action going. Um, Obviously, I could play the Brazen Borrower here just to, just to introduce a clock. And then... Yeah, you know what? Um, their, their deck is very unlikely to resolve anything that I need to Petty Theft. Either it's going to be a huge Haymaker or... Uh, okay, so we've got part of our combo here. Yeah, I think, I think it's reasonable to just clock them there. Baseball commentary sounds like an auctioneer slow down to normal speed. Yeah, I guess so. Or maybe a golf commentator brought up to normal speed. But I, I think the thing that, that makes it appealing to me, at least conceptually, is the fact that in, in baseball you have a lot of downtime. There's a lot of time where nothing's happening. Um, so three, four, five, six right now. There's a lot of downtime in baseball, so you, you get uh, a lot of story time sort of moments and that there's a lot of downtime in magic so that's sort of you need to fill in fill in the dead air. Alrighty, what do they got here? <coughs> the problem is you need that like <clears throat> encyclopedic knowledge of endless stories of your your sport or your game in this case. Of which I only have some. All right. Dead air would terrify me if I were to announce a game. I mean, as as someone who's playing, like while I'm streaming, I find the dead air is a little awkward. Okay, they got the seventh mana here. Okay, is it World Breaker? Hour of Promise. Oh, so they're not. Okay, I see. I see. Uh. This I'm going to opt in response. I'm going to opt to opt. See if I find my one Sinister Sabotage. Definitely don't need a land. So I don't think my main deck plays... I don't think my main deck plays... Can I drown that? I can't drown that. Yeah, so nothing we can do about that now. So we're going to let that go. 
Yeah, I opted for the Sinister Sabotage, but we, we didn't hit it. So we're here now. Do you play Sensor? No. Deck list is available. Oh, and uh, Exclamation Deck does work now. All right, so I'm going to Gaia Reach at the end of this turn rather than opting. Because next turn I can opt and um, dig if I need to. And I want to get rid of this excess Gaia Reach. Yeah, I just needed to get the bot back in here. <laughs> nice try, Alex. Nice try. I ain't run with that shit, right? I ain't do it. All right, so I think the best thing to do is field them off of this uh, majoring network because they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they, they don't have Ulamog mana right now. The other option is just try to fade one turn and play Notion Thief into Days Undoing next turn. So. And we'll have three mana left afterwards. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think that's fair. Also, hello, Stasis5001. Hope you're having a wonderful day, who, whomever you are. I agree with the Stasis person. And we have also the option of, uh, of opt into, into other answers. Oh, oh, they're going big. What is this, Christopher Walken Ballista? They have up to 11 here. Oh, it's Damon. Nice. What up, dude? Happy to have you swing by. So now I've gotten two out of three of the Faithless Brewers in here. I just need to get Dave who lives in his survival bunker in the woods with his collection of shotguns to go steal people's water. All right, opponent's trying to figure out what, what in the hell they want to cast here. Emrakul. Okay, so... <laughs> If I play Notion Thief, they're just going to have me attack into that. That's obviously less than great. Um, so Emrakul has protection from instance, flying and trample. So we don't have an awful lot of ways to deal with that at all. Yeah, exactly. We, we could have... Uh, so I guess I opt in response because I could hit Sinister Sabotage and at least stop them from getting the body. Okay. So... I think we just let it go? It's not going to kill me in one hit. So then on my turn they can like dig through time and then cast nothing. But... Oh, I suppose I could dig now. Yeah, I guess that gives me more more choice. Yeah. Ah, I should have taken the Thazis out. Although I don't think they can flash it back like that. All right, so none of these are answers for for the resolving Ulamog or the resolved Ulamog. Um, which is not going to kill me in one hit, but I don't think I could possibly kill them. Kill the Lumbering Falls. Yeah, I could have could have just fielded, but I, I didn't really think it was, you know, I don't think either way out is going to be... Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's fine. Uh, no, no, the, we, we've seen, we've seen um, Ulamog out of them too, which would have taken out two of my lands, which would have been pretty pretty devastating. And we don't have a way to kill that. 
All right, I think we're toast here. I just don't think that there's any there's any way to rebuild after this. It's just gonna kill us, and we don't we don't have outs. And I don't think it's worth letting them see all the cards in my deck because they haven't seen Notion Thief four days on doing this game yet. So I'm just gonna scoop out. Yeah, they got us. So they won on the mold of five, because we, we goofed it a little bit. I mean, not really, but... Okay, so pushes are not great. What's up, Cave Dan? <laughs> Introduce you to my lord and savior, Wilderness Reclamation. Wilderness Reclamation isn't blue or black. Say Nagate, Mystical Dispute, Damping Sphere. These are all fine, and then I don't think I want Languish. Assuming they're on the same sideboard plan as the previous version of this deck. Yep, that's that's definitely true. Don't concede all the chat delay. Yeah, there's a significant chat delay. Uh, Cave Dan, why why did you not want to? Yeah, they definitely play on expected results. I guess brutality is fine. I just I just don't think it's like anything to write home about. Hero's downfall I think is okay. Do they care about their graveyard enough to bring in lantern? I don't think that they actually care at all about their graveyard. The previous one asked about it, but I don't know why. I mean, I haven't seen anything from their deck. Maybe Uro is in their deck? It certainly could be. I haven't seen one yet. I think this is a reasonable setup. I just need to make one cut. Brazen Bar is probably pretty medium against them. Emrakul. Ah. I don't know if that cares about it enough to bring in drama lock seems bad here yeah okay i guess i guess i could see that so we pull the true two brown drowns keep the brazen borrower get the soul guide lantern in yeah i know i know borrowers is a reasonable threat it's just like i think we just want to combo them and then we can get through because it's really hard for them to build up the density of mana that they need before we combo and lock them out. Yeah, Soul Guided Lantern is like one of my favorite pieces of graveyard hate ever. Like, it's, it's real good. Uh, I played it in the Rug Painter deck and it was awesome. Especially when you could cycle it back and forth into and out of play. Uh, yeah, this is fine. So I, this is the... The, the we're going to slam our combo and hopefully just win. Yeah, yeah, I think anything but Emrakul would have been fine. I mean, it's fine. We, we 2 owed the previous deck. Like, oh, they mulled, mulled six already. Santa's sick in this matchup. Well, I'd like to lead on Thoughtseize, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. I'm greedy. I'm greedy like that. I get it. So leading on Fable Passage to get a island or swamp into play. It will be an island. Oh, Nephalia Academy off the sideboard again. Oh, we got redundant combo just in case they have Mystical Dispute. You get to Thought Seize their whole hand. Yeah. But I want to actually thought seize them. It's it's will breaking. I just I don't want to just beat them, Damon. I must destroy them. Uh, I guess we could flip the field of ruin in here. It doesn't matter. All right, don't dispute me, bro. Bro set, bro bot, bro they.
Nice. Uh, so they've got the Nephalia Academy, but Thoughtseize could knock the last card out of their hand. Uh, after a day's undoing, but no, it doesn't actually work like that. So we're just going to take the opt here. Brosephine. Yeah, Brosephine's a good one. <coughs> Skylasher's fine. I was actually going to mention it, but I was like, ah, probably unlikely to have it here. <coughs> so I get to knock my Narset down to one. Actually, I guess I should have taken the Thoughtseize there, because then I could have uh, defended from potential counter magic. Although, since they're growth spiraling, maybe we get through anyway. The first 5,000 stasis names were already taken. Yes, that is most likely the truth. All right, mystical dispute. That is not a mystical dispute. All right, so should have taken the Thoughtsies. Let's see if we get punished for it. Spin, two, win. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh my god, you cough. Dude, I've been coughing for like two weeks. I was sick like two weeks ago. You can see on my stream where I was sick. It was awful. I played linear decks. Set upkeep stop. Why? On theirs? Always set upkeep stop while casting days undoing. I don't. What? Why? You don't get priority. No, I. Okay. Okay, what, what up, why, why do I, why is that a problem? Is that a problem? I don't understand. You may want to cast instants before their draw step or whatever. Yeah, I suppose. In this case, I only have one mana, so it really, it's a pretty, pretty limited range of, oh, I should have opted it in the trim there. Sorry, I was talking about stuff and I, let myself get distracted. Um, okay, so we've got a field here, which I don't need to use for anything. So I just play Estuary, Reveal Watery Grave, play Jace, and then sit with my interaction. And then I can have the field ready to go. You can't know since you don't have your new seven. Trust me, just get into the habit. That is excellent advice. No, you're, you're definitely correct. Yeah. I think the idea of developing that as a habit so that in future when, when you say, I have more mana and I draw something like a hero's downfall, yeah. And the funny thing was that I was always getting priority on the previous ones because it was always with Notion Thief out, so I was going up for 14 cards in hand, so I discard a hand size. So we can uh, field their Nephalia Academy, but I'm pretty sure hitting their Castle Garenbrig is way better because um, we limit their mana a little bit, or the Majoring Network possibly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana potentially next turn, which is one whole Ugin worth of mana. So we're definitely fielding something here, and I think it should be a land that produces more than one, and Majoring can eventually get bigger, so I'm gonna kill that. Yeah, no, it's, I, I agree. Yeah, I agree on the habit thing. Good habits. Big promoter of good habits. You know what's harder than learning something? Unlearning something. Sinister Sabotage, yes please. Wow, thanks little deck. Mm, Fabled Passage is okay here. I could flip my Jace, but it's just going to start getting attacked by the Skylasher. But it goes up to 6 loyalty, so that buys me a lot of turns if I want them. I'm pretty sure I'm happy with Jace as just a looter right now. So 
Gonna pass the turn, and on their turn, I could have played an untapped land because I might want a Sinister Sabotage and Hardcast Brazen Borer. You can st tick up on the Skylasher. I'm pretty sure this thing has protection from blue, Roy. Yeah, I think Gyre Reach is where I want to be right now. Yeah, so we're just going to use Jace to loot twice, and then if I have to flip him, uh, I can flash back an Opt. Uh, I've got lots of good cards to ditch here. Thoughtseize is fine because it, re it resets them a draw. Uh, I think I'm just going to hard cast this Brazen Borrower, put a little clock into play. So this kind of puts them in a little squeeze on what they want to do each turn. Do they want to attack me or do they want to be able to hold back? Brutality is also excellent. So if I was going to cast either of these first, it'll be Brutality because Brutality has a more limited set of things it can hit. Although, if I cast Thoughtseize, then I know what the other card in their hand is. I'm assuming neither of the cards in their hand are instants. I'm, I'm just going to fire off the Thoughtseize. Wait, I'm waiting. Brutality kills Skylasher. I'm a moron. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay, so we're going to double mode this thing. So minus two, minus two, and target opponent reveals their hand. Yep, so that opponent, this card... And I'm happy to discard my Fabled Passage. Uh, I can discard the Thoughtseize. Nah, Fabled Passage. Might want the Thoughtseize afterwards. Get out of here. So you're only out to it. No, I've got Hero's Downfall. Yeah, for some reason, I'm, I am not functioning at, uh, at full capacity right now. My brain was just like, the Skylasher is unkillable. It just can't be killed. Oh look, a second Skylasher. Alright, what's the last card in their hand? Ulamog! So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So kill the Skylasher, that's fine. Good thing I didn't attack, I guess. Um, so I can flip my Jason off this turn. Deck of Superstars in play, I struggled with it. Um, I, I don't think it's too bad. I played blue-black control in this format before. Alright, so the Ulamog in their hand is uncastable. Um, however, Thought Seizing them puts on them on zero cards in hand. I'm going to Jace, see where this gets me. Okay, that is one of the things I kind of ideally wanted to see. I... I think I want to just use this to cast... Oh, I can cast the Collective Brutality. That's what I'm going to do. Guys, I found the line. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I found the line. Guys, don't worry. I found the line. And now we can put a clock on them. And then I still have Sinister Sabotage, and they're nowhere close to casting the Ulamog in their hand, so... Yeah, they're on 7, and they need 10, so... And then Castle Garenbrig does not work for Ugin. Okay, they fetch. Okay, now I'm more incentivized to thought seize the Ulamog on to put it on top of their deck if they if they choose with Nephalia. Oh goodness. So because Fabled Passage would allow them to shuffle afterwards and get a different draw. But uh I didn't didn't get to do that. Okay. So we're just attacking. I'm going to play Narset, tick Narset up to go for anything that draws me to Gaia Reach. Um, all right, well, have enjoy the sunshine. I went for a run earlier. It was great. Uh, dig through time is exactly what we want there. Uh, I'm going to use this Thought Seize to potentially reset their draw step. If they're smart, they should just discard this instead of using their replacement effect, but not every opponent is smart. <laughs> and then we're going to dig through the time at the end of their turn and try to get our guy reach, and then should be in good shape. Alternatively, I could just slam the Brazen Borrower and then main phase, phase dig through time. In fact, that's way better, because that puts them on a two-turn clock, plus we can find the lock piece. Alright, cool. 
So we're gonna breeze and borrower, and then on my turn we're gonna main phase dig. And then I could Narset or Jace afterwards. I wanna dig first because I'm pretty sure I haven't seen a Gaia Reach with my Narset. Leave uh, all of the instances and sorceries in my graveyard that I can. I don't need Thoughtseize right now to flashback. Uh, there's a Gaia Reach and a Notion Thief just for funsies. I shouldn't take the Notion Thief there. I should have taken something more proactive, but there really isn't anything good there. So just any order of those. I played my land before I did this because I'm an idiot, so don't worry about it. Man, I am just so off my game. Just like miss sequencing nonstop all over the place. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Soul Guide Lantern and I'm gonna jam out their graveyard. I'm not I'm not looking at it. I'm just assuming that they had enough between that and everything else to uh, to Emrakul me. Just gotta take away all their hope. Merit to holding land before dig, never mind. Thanks, Roy. Always in the nick of time. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know the stream delay is a pain in the butt. So I think the reason that um, I get the I get I think I get double the delay is because uh, I've got the chat up on my iPad. So the uh, client on on the the Twitch app on on mobile uh, always has a delay. I know that is it's longer than if you're using it on a PC. So uh, it's getting double the delay. And this is a pretty good hand. So we're just looking to opt into combo piece. I can hold this fetid pools or play it on turn one. Although there are things that I do want to play on on turn two, so we're, we're probably my opponent most of four. Good golly. So I think playing against this deck, we've seen them hit mulls to they mull to three. I I hate crazier decks. There must be something seriously messed up with that deck. I haven't looked at the list like in depth or anything, but. Uh, look at this glorious island I'm going to play next turn. I feel like there has to be something messed up with that deck's construction. <coughs> but I'll take the 2-0. Uh, opt? Yeah, I don't have anything to do on my next turn. I suddenly drew things. Oh man, Thoughtseize against the two-card hand. Good luck. Hour of Promise and Land. Enjoy. Estuary, Island, Catacombs, or do you lead with pools? Yeah, so you're gonna see you're gonna see what I did in a second. Uh, I don't need another mystical dispute right now. Right now I just wanna look for lock pieces. Uh, they're only on four mana next turn, so I think we'll just jam this Narset. Narset helps us get to our combo piece like that. I don't even know if I want to play it next turn right away. I kind of want to draw a field of ruin. Just get this out of here. And they're missing blue mana? Oh, I got it. Okay, so we know their hand is our promise, and we know they can play it next turn, so... Um, I think I'm going to go... Narset... Oh. Yeah, that'll do. So I can thought seize their hour of promise. Wait, did I already? Okay, sorry, I already did that. I was like, I thought this was revealed cards. I'm just real, real out of it. 
Uh, we're just going to play Brazen Borrow at the end of the turn right now and just start beating them to death. And we have a Mystical Dispute in case we need it. Because they don't, they're already on zero cards. I don't need to waste my time comboing. Putting a clock into play is better at this point. I want... I don't really need more black mana, but... Don't need more blue. Nice top deck. Okay. I think I still can just sit here and develop my mana. I think next turn is my day's undoing turn. Razor, sure. And then if we hit a Gaia Reach, we're in great shape. So actually, I'm going to... Oh no, Day's Undoing ends the turn, so I do want to play my land before I do it. Um, well, Chase is more incentive not to Day's Undoing yet. I could play Jace and then Day's Undoing. But I won't know if I have this Mystical Dispute afterwards or not. feel like I'm supposed to fire off this Day's Undoing sooner rather than later because the longer this goes, the, the more this majoring network is going to um, get them to a place where uh, they get to do things. Okay, great draw. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. And Damping Sphere now uh, is going to stop that from ever doing its thing. So that, that severely limits their mana. Growth Spiral. Uh, I can make them spend all their mana to have that resolve. I feel like that's worth doing in this in this game situation, because I could just thought seize whatever they draw if they pay for it to resolve. I'm just so ahead on cards, I can burn, burn the dispute here. All right, we rocking. All right, enjoy your card. Oh wait, you can't. Man, I didn't even think about that, but they they just got themselves so good. And Narset is obnoxious. All right. Uh, this Damping Sphere means they have access to fairly little mana. Still looking to find my... Yeah, I forgot that... Uh... Yeah, yeah, this should have been the middle for the opponent. Well, I, I should have been aware that I was sort of um, unforced erroring them there. So I flip the Kalitas into play here. They only have access to five mana. Cool. So we're going to play Narset this turn. That's an awesome pickup. Bye, Narset. You did good work. They will soon learn. They did. They did. Um, Hero's Downfall guarantees me a zombie uh, from killing the Grazer and uh, can kill a Planeswalker if it comes down. I uh, can kill the, um, the Kudzu, the Vine Lasher. The non kudzu, or the non, yeah, the non, non vine lasher kudzu. All right, they, I don't know if they know their mage ring is not going to work. We'll see. This feels like a deck that gets hit by like all the hate in this format. Uh, that's fine. 
Oh no, so yeah, it's a Skylasher, not a Kudzu. I uh, lost a guy to reach there. But I picked up a draw seven, so like whatever. Uh, I don't need more mana. I don't need more opt, but I'll take it. Oh, I need to pay two for this opt? Alright, I'll just opt on their turn. I mean, I've got all these thought seasons. A Skylasher that is not a Kudzu. Just a Skylasher. Keep cranking your feudal majoring network. It will reward you with only sadness. Ooh. All right. Uh, I guess we dig in. Don't mystical dispute me, folk. All right, we'll grab Notion Thief here. All right, cool. Set the upkeep stop. Let's go win. I mean, we're already savagely winning, but all right, I'm gonna fire off the Thoughtsies first. See if we can put them on zero cards. Skylash is an insect, Vids could do is a plant. Not all creature types look the same. I didn't say they look the same. At all. Not all green creatures look the same. They just all look green to me, you know? I don't think you can say to someone... I don't think you can tell a green creature it looks green. Yeah, keep cranking it. You are draw locked opponent. Enjoy. It's funny, this deck is uh, this was in like the very first Pioneer deck dump. There was uh, blue black days undoing. And apparently the meta has shifted in such a way that this is once again playable. I think when we started seeing Narsets pop back up into um, into yeah they can see into the inverter decks that was probably the sign that this this was going to be something we could start doing again and uh killing it now although we've played against the nasif deck twice which is not representative of the larger pioneer meta but it is fun to see people picking up a new brew instead of just jamming inverter non-stop and sultai Also, Vine Lasher Kudzu is way, way cooler than Sky Lasher. Screw Sky Lasher. Vine Lasher Kudzu, the original landfall. The greatest of all landfalls. Landfall, put a plus one plus one counter on it. One the die roll. Yes, please. Not keeping that one. This is much better. I think we throw one of these fabled passages back and we're good to go. So we're gonna go fabled passage into island, and then next turn we chase. Should be off to the races. We don't have. Uh... Oh shoot! I always forget. With the Fable Passage. Stupid tap land. My my click equity is so good, but my winning the game equity is terrible. Alright. Last two days, I've just been making a bunch of goofs like that. Okay. Uh, do I jam adjacent to two open mana? Probably not. Let's hang out, see what they're up to. I don't actually know what my opponent's on yet. Okay, are they on the world's worst inverter draw, or are they playing uh, Blue Devotion? I think I want more mana, but that's a really bad land. Ah, 
I'll take it. Having more mana in the what I assume is a control and control matchup is it's just worth it. Opponent has made the bold choice to so far play mono blue in Pioneer. Goodness gracious. So can't play my brazen borrower. We're gonna do that at the end of the next turn, assuming we get there. Uh, don't really have any other options here. I could play Jace with Drown and Lock back up, but they put literally zero cards into their graveyard, so. Wow. I was just, just hitting all the land drops. All right, let's 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 at least see a single card out of their deck. Come on. Show me something. Essence Capture. Sure. That <coughs> was not what I was expecting. Okay. Uh, do I jam the Jace into their reduced open mana here. I don't think I need to. Let's take one more. One more turn. I'll opt at the end of their turn. Okay, they've got six now, so they're on torrential gear hulk territory. Thoughtseize is exactly what we need here. Alright, let's crack this bad boy open. I'm gonna roy them with my sequencing. There's no reason to play my land before any of this. Wizard's Retort. Okay. So that gets them reasonably low on mana. Kind of. They have three open. So if they have a counter that costs less than exactly three, I can drown it. So let's see what's up. Come on. Shoot. Second Wizard's Retort. All right. Well. That does get more cards into their yard for my Drown and Lock, so here's hoping that that is going to be able to do some work. Tempest Gin. So, fighting that on the stack is like, okay. We'll see what happens here. If I have to Days Undoing, like, honestly, that'll be really funny. Fable Passage, sure. So they own like the mono blue beatdown deck with just like the world's least aggressive draw? I think they are. I think they're on the, the Devotion deck with like just the most god-awful draw. Alright. Sanitarium, you say? We'll see what's up here. Fatal Push is obviously not great here, but a land is especially not great here. This fuels up for my next... For my next... Um, they ditched a Master of Waves. Good golly. So they must have a second one, right? Um, so... Overwhelmed Apprentice, sure. So they mill me for two. Gadwick. X2, sure. So end of turn here, I'm going to attempt to kill the Gadwick. No, I'm going to do it during combat. Ah, oh, I should have done it in response to the trigger. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm just really bad at this game. Kill. Okay, and again, they just let it go, which is weird. I'm going to Gyre Reach before I try to cast this Days Undoing. Maybe I can draw some interaction. That's pretty good. They've got two mana, but they have a Wizard in play. I think I can't Nars it into Days Undoing here. I could Nars it into Removal or a Counterspell. And if, since that's the case, I want to be careful about how I tap my mana. So blue, blue, and the colorless there. 
If they don't have a triple blue pip card, then they can't wake up Thassa. Hey, look, it's that drown in the lock I needed. I suppose I could have taken the redundant Narset for next turn, but normally these decks don't play that 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 much counter magic, so here's hoping that they're mostly tapped out on that front. And depending on how big they want their Gadwick to be, we might be able to drown it on the stack. <coughs> Good call on the tapping. Thank you. I was specifically looking for something like this. Okay. So uh, let them go to combat. And then here's hoping that they don't have the umpteenth piece of counter magic. Die. Oh no, young Tempest Chin. You will die. Why? So I should have hit it on the stack. Okay. So. Spike's version of that deck did not play Dive Down, but it also didn't play Tempest Gen, so I guess I'm just taking data from the, the wrong point. However, I guess we could just see the fourth Narset in one draw. Alright, uh, so I want to set an upkeep stop, and then I want to leave as much colored mana as possible up here. Um... Is it worth narsetting before I cast this day's undoing? I don't think so. No. Oh, okay, so they drew the third wizard's retort. Cool. We don't have any days undoing left. I have not had a permanent leave the battlefield this turn. But this fatal push does turn off their Thassa. I think I have to do that. Yeah. Cool. So, got a couple of draws here. Yeah, I mean, they, they had the third wizard's retort. You know, what are you going to do? They just had a super counter heavy draw. Wow, that was a good draw. <sighs> My other two Narsets are on the bottom of my deck right now. I've got a lot of really bad... Is this Gadwick? I'm just going to scoop to Gadwick. I don't need to see their, all their cards. <laughs> Languish doesn't even do anything here, so... Alright. So Negate and Mystical Dispute, you say. Um, so Cast Down is okay. Doomblade is definitely quite good here. Oops. I think Ritual Sit is actually pretty good. Uh, Languish is also good. Could even bring in Kalitas if I want even more density of threats. They showed you their hand? No? Are you saying I should have stuck in in case I drew a Thoughtseize? So Narset's pretty vulnerable here. Oh, maybe they did. I, I didn't, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe they did. Okay, so... Ritual 
ritual. And then neg negate is not great because a lot of their threats are creatures. Don't think you want Kalitas here. Yeah, it was just a thought because they have a lot of sort of small dicky creatures. But the Thassa definitely makes that less than great. I think Hero's Downfall is pretty medium. Although this might just be an all removal on deck thing. But that leaves my set. Oh no, you know what? We'll just cut two opts. Don't need the uh, don't need the grease. Just go up in density of powerful effects. Yes, I'd like to play first. Thanks for asking, Moto. Well, that's a fantastic hand. Cut some push, add cast down. I think I added the cast down, did I not? Oh, uh, there's one more? I thought I grabbed it. Yeah, that was that was probably right. Mull to six. Severely screwed up that last game, though, by missing that. That turn two Jace would have been really good the way that game worked out. That's all right. Narset, you say? Yeah, that's that's dandy. Thanks, Deck. All right. Um, what do you got going on? My opponent's pace of play has dropped precipitously. Spill Pierce. Gross. I mean, I guess they don't have it for my Narset next turn. I love that card. Can we talk about their sick Squee the Immortal treasure, by the way? It's freaking Squee, dude. The only way it could be better if it was Squee's toy. So I think this means they almost definitely have Mystical Dispute or another Spell Pierce in their hand, but I'm still going to jam this in our set. Drown in the lock flooded. Alright. Let's go, baby. Get in there. Whew. Yeah. Let's get there. Ooh, back up, Narset. Okay that's, okay, that's all two of them, so... Wow! Spectral Sailor. Okay. Yeah, that was unexpected. What is with all these one-pip cards?
Yeah, they really uh, took their time on that attack. Tempest Gin. Yep. Okay. So I think I'm drowning the Spectral Sailor. Obviously the there is the option of waiting until um, they attack, but then they'll have mana up, so I could also uh, upkeep Gyre Reach with my Narsen in play, but I don't think that's particularly worth it. Am I streaming tonight? No, I'm not streaming tonight. That's why I'm streaming now. I'm heading into the city tonight, so... This is this is my streaming for today. Just gonna jam out a league with this bad boy. Yeah. So I wish I had the colors to uh, try to drown this, but that's okay. That's a good pickup. So the question is, do I try to do this now or on their turn? So I think now is best because we, what we could do is we could fetch and push the Tempest Gen. And if they respond to that by playing any card, then we can drown the Tempest Gen or drown the response. But I think, I think this is best to do it now not give them the extra mana. I could always do the upkeep. Sorry, not give them the extra card draw. Yeah, we could always upkeep it. I think upkeeping it is best. This will mess with their mana for the next turn. And of course, if they try to do anything at the end of my turn here, they'll be slightly more shields down. We'll get to do it then. So, got some good options. Good options. I'm trying to remember they're playing things like dive down. So... Um, it is possible we want to counter uh, rather than try to kill. So exactly like that. So I'm going to have to counter this. So hopefully they don't have a second counter here. Cool. Looks like we made it. No second dive down. Sick. And we got them to tap one whole mana during their upkeep, which, you know, could be something. We get bopped. All right. So playing nurse it, and we're gonna nurse it on their upkeep if we make it that far. Spell pierce me. Spell pierce me, daddy. All right. I wonder if they have a flash creature that they are gonna threaten my nurse it with. Nice pickup. Still gonna upkeep nurse at them, assuming that nothing else goes poorly, but. Sick. All right. So this puts them down a card compared to me, which is great. I'm going to ditch this useless field of ruin, although the estuary is almost as bad. <coughs> Even if I lose this second Narset, we do still have Notion Thieves in the deck, so we have options for, for combo pieces after this. Gadwick. X zero, sure. So they're draw locked from here if I thought sees them. So no, because they can kill kill my Narset. Interesting. I think I think what I do here is Thoughtseize, and then I'm going to upkeep Gaia Reach, and we're going to steal their draw, and maybe we can draw. Uh, am I throwing both my draw and the loss? I am, but maybe we can draw something else useful. 
Notion Thief? Oh man, this is a spicy one. Let me tell you, I'm Rahil327, about Faithless Brewing. That podcast is phenomenal. Folks on there do some great stuff. And this is from the 5.0 Deck Dump for Pioneer and uh, one of their one of their wonderful humans, Damon, piloted this list to a 5.0. And uh, so I was like, yo, I'm going to jam that. All right. So we're going to lose our Narset here, but it means I can push the Gadwick. So that's, that's going to be okay. And if you want a link to the deck list, you can use the Stream Decker widget, which should be on your screen right now. Or you can... <laughs> Do I give us both new hands? I don't think so. You can use the Stream Decker widget, which should be kind of hovering on your screen somewhere. But you can also um, type exclamation point deck in the chat to get a direct link to that deck list. I think the Brazen Borrower is worth firing off at sorcery speed. No, if they draw fast, I want to be able to bounce it. Hope they have a spell pierce or negate. Merfolk trickster, sure. It's a pretty good draw. Okay. So they have zero cards in hand. This just mills them. Oh, that's gross. Thanks, deck. Thank you. God, God bless you, little deck. You doing God's work here. You're doing, you're doing blue blacks work here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So planeswalkers and lands we cannot get back, so they're fine to take out. I think we're getting Doomblade and Jace here. Could get Doomblade and Mystical Dispute, but I think Doomblade Jace is the best. So. Seems good. And we've got the Gyre Reach on the bottom of our deck now, so that is exactly where we want it when we already have one in play. Siren Storm Tamer. Well, that's a kick in the teeth, but that'll be okay. We're going to be fine. It's going to be okay. So I'm actually going to offer the trade. I'm going to cockily swing in. Maybe they, maybe they block me here. Let's see. Nice. Actually works to my advantage, I think. I'm totally okay with this trade. Really? Oh, they snipped it out. They knew that I knew that they knew that I knew. Okay. It's not just Jay's flashback. Good. Good point, Cave Dan. So I actually should have left my Narsets in there. Damn it. You are correct. Hopefully they didn't draw the counter here. Although if they tap down for that, I guess we're fine with it, so. Yeah, Siren Storm Tamer, sure. And then Jace plusing next turn is actually almost as good as um, flashing back a, a removal spell, so I think we're just gonna Jace plus. That is a great draw. Okay, so I wanna flip my Jace. I'm gonna ditch this Estuary most likely. Uh, yeah, we're still, that's, it's a tap land. We'll just minus on, or reduce the power of the Merfolk's Trickster. Another Trickster. That's a little dangerous, but okay. I think I'm going to play this Notion Thief while they're tapped down. Surprise! It's not a surprise. I think if they attack with all... I think I just take it? Do I? No, I should probably trade here. I think, I think going down to three and leaving them with three power in play is a, is a bad move when we're this close to stabilizing. 
That's a great draw. Thanks, deck. Alright, cracking in with Brazen Bar over there. Super duper. Just passed the turn here. Got lots of good tools. I am a good tool, so you know. I'm not saying I'm good, I'm just saying I'm a tool. Let's take the one. Comfortable going to four here. Uh, end of turn, I'm going to Fatal Push the Merfolk Trickster. Let's see if that resolves. Get one of them fancy dive downs? They do not. Okay, so good chance Notion Thief gets countered here, but we're doing we're doing fine, so. so Mystical Dispute? What is it for? Yep. This is minus nine. Wow. So a lot of mana. Is it a flashback dig through time? It seems really good. So, as the wisdom of Cave Dan speaketh, I want to take out cards that I kind of don't want to draw anymore. Most of the rest of these are pretty good, but I want as much mana left over afterwards as I can get. Uh, okay. Please do not have another counter. They did not. Excellent. <laughs> Not a lot of threats here. I think we're taking Hero's Downfall and Brazen Borrower. Which is kind of hilarious, but <coughs> we'll take it. Got good, good answers in our hand going on. Do I want to go to three? No, let's see if they... See if I can force something. Cool. Storm Tamer, sure. So I can jace the uh, Storm Tamer before I attack, which means that blocking with it is suddenly not super appetizing for them. Maybe kill the last wizard first just to be safe. Yeah, that, that could have been what I did there. That's probably a good play. Good call, uh, Dan. I think we got this one, though. Yep. Sweet. I think we got a game three. All right. Uh, we're supposed to have this cast down in there, so let's get that. I think it's probably better than... Languish. Collecting Brutality might be okay. Legion's End also might be okay. I think what I'm doing is hitting the washer real quick, and then we will get into this last one on this match. I assume the username is because he his name is Dan and he 
is a nerd, so he stays indoors frequently, like a caveman, but a cave dan. That's. I bet you it's a much more interesting story than that, and I'm just assuming badly. Well, this hand is kind of gross. But do I think it's actually okay in this matchup? I think it's actually okay with everything that it has going on. Especially the mystical dispute really really pushes this over the edge. Yeah. I think estuary is generally worse than drowned catacombs. So my two-color deck is about to start this game by playing three tap lands, which is just where you want to be. Okay, no play there is, is pretty good for us. Oh, and they missed their they missed their land drop. Oh, that's great. Island, you say? Uh, I don't think I need more lands. <laughs> Guess I can Gyre Reach and start EOT Gyre Reaching. Just doesn't feel great against their hand that is. Do I fight that? Since they're missing land drops, I think. I think what I should have done is played the Jace this turn with Mystical Dispute back up, is what I should have done. Okay, so at the end of this turn. I'm gonna Gaia Reach, and then on my turn, I'm gonna make the play I should have made last turn. Never been so disappointed seeing Field of Ruin. Hey, hey, at least we get to get rid of it. So with Jace, we're gonna have another looter going, so that's kinda nice. Can't spell pierce this. Can ya? They can. Dispute. Please don't have to. I asked you nicely. Goodness gracious. Okay. Well, I put plenty of cards into their graveyard for my drown the lock, I suppose. Boy, that's rough. Do they still not have the third land? <laughs> yeah, so I, I definitely should have done that on turn uh, on my turn three after they missed their land drop. I've just been playing poorly all day, like more than usual. think just passing the turn here um, I can't raise in borrower and drown the lock but we're just gonna get the borrower into play at the end of the turn <coughs> suppose I can't protect it but what is the chance that they have the third mystical dispute or Right. Sure. So I got this Drown in the Lock, so that's going to be really... Wow. Okay. I think we just kill this now. I tap for it in the worst possible way, but my handful of lands isn't going to complain about it. Oh, they finally hit their third land. Oh, great. And they lead with a card that just messes with me. Got it. Probably have Wizards Retort up after.
Loot first to see if you draw a push. Sure. Loot before before what? Oh, I see, I see, I see. I don't think I'm playing this hero's downfall this way, Siren Storm Tamer. What I'd like to happen is that for them to put in another creature and then for me to draw my Languish. That'd be great. So I understand the Gyre Reach is also improving their hand, but mine is bad enough, I feel like this is worth doing. Good golly. Excuse me, I was, I was told I was, I was I was told there would be spells. I was told that I was gonna play Magic the Gathering and that I was the wizard and there was gonna be spells and I would get to, and I would get to play I was gonna get to play the spells and I, I could be a wizard. I mean that's pretty good. Alright, I believe I have a sufficient pile of removal in my hand. And I'm pretty sure we're firing off cast down. And the reason we're firing off cast down is uh, it can't kill Gadwick or Thassa. I mean, none of these things can kill Thassa, but. Sure. All right, I'm just gonna let this go for this turn. I can take one. A worthy trade. Do I want to jam this brazen bar end of turn? On my turn, I have extra draws to try to pick up a haymaker. They protected their siren storm tamer. Does that mean I should try to kill it? I mean, I should try to bounce it. Obviously, they can counter that. I just no, I shouldn't trade one of my threats. I think we're okay to take our turn. That's an awesome pickup. I think that means we're supposed to try to kill this now, because then we can resolve the notion thief. If I play it with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I push it, I can play the notion thief, and then Gaia reach on their upkeep. So we're going to do that. We are severely low on clock, so got to speed through this a little bit. Okay. So they didn't respond to that. Assume they have a hard counter, so I'm just going to let it go for now. I don't know what their hand could possibly be, but that was a great pickup. Okay, so the end of this turn, I'm gonna put down Brazen Borrow, try to start getting going. Wizards retort. Sure. Please, please no more lands. That is an A plus draw. Thank you, Dick. Finally. Sure, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have enough. Ah. Uh, I think I can Mystical Dispute and then I'll see how clear the way is for my Notion Thief. Okay, that's fine. Nope. Okay. Okay. All right. Good luck, little motion thief. It's, it's it's all you, baby. You and this hero's downfall. You are the hero that shall be their downfall. <clears throat> nice. What else? Nice. 
Okay. So we're gonna upkeep Gaia Reach. And if we're firing off any removal, we're gonna do it then. Okay. <sighs> Why now? Oh, right, the Notion Thief draws me an extra card. Oh, and now they're on zero cards in hand. And we still have a Fabled Passage in play. Well, this has been a truly grotesque chain of events. Good job, me. Please tell me I have another swamp. Wait, I don't need it. Just needed to sack that. All right, all right. Good job, buddy. Good job. You just you give him the business. And now they're draw locked. Wow, that turned around quickly. You played a good game, opponent. Tomb Blade is a good pickup. Um, they're not officially out of this, but this Doom Blade means I am going to attack. Trickster, sure. Okay, now now they're draw locked, so it, it doesn't doesn't matter what they did. Okay, so this game's over. Sick, we got there. We're on the three zero. Oh no, that oh. Okay, so Notion Thief actually screws up the Narset lock. I see how that works. Interesting. Okay. We're still in a great spot, just we actually don't have them draw locked. Okay, so I'm going to cycle Fetid Pools. That's an awesome pickup. And I'm still going to Gaia Reach because I have this Drown. Because this basically lets me loot twice. Uh, sure. Second Notion Thief is good here. Get him. So just to save clicks for me, I'm just going to let them take their draw. I've got enough backup that I think it's going to be fine. Their notions have been stolen. I believe so. I believe I have most effectively stolen their notions. Wow. <laughs> Deck is just drawing fire now. Uh, so if I daze on doing, I draw 14, but I, I don't think it's worth going through the whole hassle of having to discard to hand size right now. Cool. They drew a land. That's great. And more counters is good. Sure. Maybe you should have fought for that on the stack. They're gonna draw a card. Okay, I'll draw. I'll draw instead. I'm okay with this. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Can someone go find Damon wherever he's walking in a park and just 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 make his day? However you, however you can. Someone get him some cookies. He's won a bet. That's the last card in their hand. Okay, so break their spirit. That didn't even save them. I just. Oh, they did concede. Cool. So we are 3 and 0 with this exceptional little list just trucking. Yeah, exactly. I know, I know. Spectral Sailor is uh, definitely, definitely a happening card. Target opponent draws a card. Hype? Yeah, yeah, maybe it's my first on stream 5 0. Let's go. Those are some long games. I don't think the first one was really short. Yeah. Second one was reasonably long. That last one was, yeah, we, we, we burned it down. A rope a dope all along.
Roy, you're great. If I told you you're great today, you're great. All right, we're against Harry 13, the 13th Harry. This is an awkward hand. So I need another black. I'm playing a 25 land deck though. All right, I'm gonna keep this. It's it's a little risky, but. Uh, did we record the 5-0 with him, is it? Oh, maybe we did. <coughs> I think you're right. I thought I got the 5-0 the week before I started streaming. Did I get a 5-0 with Grixis Whir? I think Grixis Whir was my 5-0 from this season. Extra blue is not bad. And this thought sees is going to clear the way, so maybe we get an R set down. Uh, essence scatter. All right, that's something. And commit to memory. Okay, so most of their hand is pretty weak against us, so we're just going to take this to fairy. It's a decent pickup, although it is vulnerable to their sick essence scatter. Yeah, I think it was the uh, the, the Grixis Orza. It's just disappointing, you know. Out of all the decks that I've played, that was like one of the ones that I didn't, didn't really care for. All right, so didn't hit another land. Didn't hit. A black source, but I can nurse it for an opt. Days undoing. Okay, so I could days undoing at us both down to no cards. I think it's probably not the most wise choice yet. But I think I want this drown. They drew another Narset, yeah. I think I'd rather have the Drown right now. So I get to grab their Narset or their Commit to Memory. I think we just grab their Narset here. We have a backup Narset that they don't know about, so if they want to commit us before they go for commit to memory, then uh, we'll have the backup. Yeah, third in our set? Goodness gracious. Yeah, all right, well. We also have an excess in our set, so. They got another verdict, that's great. I think I play this Jace and make them verdict it. They can't essence scatter right now. So we've got two unknowns. Yeah, that makes sense. Shock the Hallowed Fountain. So they have Big Teferi. They drew a sensor. Cool. And they drew a little Teferi. Gross. This is this is not great. You wanted to take their commit? I guess. 
plus the Teferi. All right. They have sensor, so but if I draw the black source, I can murder their Teferi. Please. Oh, they have a Narset. Wow, I'm bad at this game. Wow, and now I can't. Oh my god, that's so bad. 25 land deck. Yeah, I'm in big trouble now. I can't do anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't. I, no. If I'm talking about making a play like that, you're not. You're never gonna have time to catch me, dude. I mean, you can keep trying all you want, but I just don't think you're ever gonna catch me. I'm trying to play magic at a reasonable pace, and it's just. Uh, There's going to be times where I walk into that stuff. Okay, I'm done with this game. We're not going to make it through this. Okay. They uh, they drew the right mixture of things, and we just could not hit any lands. Okay, but we've got reasonable sideboard cards here. Noxious Grasp is great. Uh, Collective Brutality is acceptable. I think that's it. Soul God Lantern could be okay to, to kill a Dig Through Time. I don't think it's that good. So Languish and pushes out. This leaves us with a reasonable amount of creature kill and such. I think we're good to go here. And my opponent thinks we're on inverter. I don't think we're worried about it. Uh, I'm not worried about about um, what's it called in this in this economy. Although I could be worried about uh, the Sphinx, Dream Trawler. That's see, that's way more likely than Monastery Mentor. We have Drown. We have Downfall though, so I'm not, I'm not super worried. This is an acceptable hand. So they're likely to be much lower on creature removal. Okay, so we can lead on watery grave here because I do not no I do want to play this fetid pools probably want to play this fetid pools I probably want to play it off didn't mean to click on the water grave there but now we're here That's an excellent pickup. Uh, so we can thought seize first. See if I want to hold up my mana against them. Ooh, 
risky hand from the opponent. So because I know they have sensor, I think I'm going to leave the sensor for them. They can't play the veto. Ah, they can't play the veto. So I can take the opt or the sensor here. I think next turn is my turn three. I don't actually have anything good to play. I could opt and try to find something. So I think I take the sensor, leave them with the opt. And then we're going to play uh, Estuary here, revealing this island that I intend to play next turn. But if I don't draw anything off, uh, if I don't draw a three drop off of my opt, then I don't have to. Um, oh, sick! That'll work because now I can play the feathered pools. Or not. Now I don't need to play the feathered pools at all. I like to play two life. No, but I like to pay two life. Yes. Dun nun nun na 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 bon na na. Okay. <laughs> Stuff happening in my chat. I, I don't understand it. So I think I take the sensor here. Then they have opt. They have veto D sphere. Ah, brazen forward. Man, they've got a lot of answers right now. Guess I can't ever deal with the D sphere. Wait, no, I've got Brazen Borbers. So they just need third land. Well, I'll take their sensor and slows them down the most. Yeah, I was missing the sensors. They still have a sensor in their hand. No, they don't. I took it. All right. It's a scope, unfortunate. <clears throat> I mean, brutality into cycle land is not the end of the world. Guess we're slugging it out. So we've got a veto I can still take here. And then they have Narset, Giddy, Gross. Wow. The one time I can't take it, they pick up Narset. They didn't play into the open mana, though, so... Maybe... Maybe we're all going to be okay. All right. We used to leave our house in the before time. Brazen Borrower. Uh, so they have Detention Sphere in their hand. Narset on top of these other cards. Do I fire off this Notion Thief now and make them D Sphere it? No, I think we're going to try to get this through at the end of their turn. I, I think they still have a sensor. I screwed up my, my thoughts using somewhere along the line. I should know what they have, but I don't. Okay. Grip it and rip it, baby. Come on. They don't have the veto. If this resolves, I'm, I'm slamming the days I'm doing on my turn. Damn it. Damn it! Hey, okay, I never saw that card, so they, they picked that up in the meantime. Okay. Ah, combo deck. Combo deck. Don't play the Narset. Don't do it. 
have a heart. Dig through time. Well, that's way worse. Crud. Okay, so flip my Jace. Speed's a great draw. I can chill with Jace for now. Try to counter that. Because then they don't get any value out of it. If they have a counter for my counter, okay, cool. Can let my Jace take one. Just keep him at parity there. So they have Kitty and they have D Sphere. I think. Yeah, I should have done this during combat. I was waffling. Alright, whoops. Passage is not good, but it doesn't hurt me too much. So they're up on cards here. Does that mean I just daze undoing? I think it I think it could. They're gonna have the uh, first crack at the new the new board. My Drown on the Lock is not going to be able to do anything. Whereas I could flash back my Thoughtseize right now. Most of their hand is Gas. My hand is definitely poor. I'm just going to fire off a Daze on Doing here and see, see if that's a line that's worth taking. I'm going to uptick my Jason Nothing first because I can't do it afterwards. Okay, let's see if there's results. Wee! Sick. So it's opponent's turn, upkeep, I don't need to play any spells, go. Got a brazen borer, so if they start jamming a planeswalker. And if you don't know, now you know. You could do some swimming, Alex, if running is out of the picture. Swimming is excellent high intensity exercise. Swim and bicycle. Dude, you got it. That's all you need. Well, that's slightly annoying. It's actually not too bad. So the way, the way my hand is set up, this is this is fine. Should be fine. Might be fine. It's probably fine. I think it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Now, here. How are you? Getting in the trials? Crap. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what we're brazen borrowing. Brazenly borrowing. I draw... Hero's Downfall could be okay. See you, nerd. Okay, so what we're looking to draw here would be... A Daze Undoing would be pretty sick, because then we can Wombo Combo away their entire hand. Oh, it would, be, it would hit ours too, though. I think... So I think I can play my land first. I think that's all right. We can play two thought seizes. So I'm gonna oh, six mana. So we can opt to try to find answer for Narset. More thought seizes. So triple thought seizes or double thought seizes Narset. 
think double thought season narset might be better. And then I can take my Oh they have a Narset. Yep. 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 Alright, well. Already was idiot. Oh, so their hand is super, super stacked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so they can cast the dig through time next turn, but it costs literally everything they have. So I think I'm taking the two Teferis. And then instead of Narset, I could play Brazen Borrower. But Narset gets me more action here, so... Man, I wish I had that top, top Thoughtseize. Would be really good here. Also going at six, which is awful. But getting rid of all their Teferi seems good. I think I'll just hold my mana and cast the Brazen Barber. Seems okay. Got you a Gideon. They they had that mystical dispute in their hand before. I guess not. Is gonna counter my borrower here. Well, gotta get through it. They just they just got a much much better hit off of the days undoing than we did. Yeah, thanks. That's well it's just there's no way you're gonna catch it. Like almost all of the time when I'm gonna fire off a draw spell, like I usually don't talk about it too much first. Okay, hero's downfall's okay here, but the biggest problem is that dig through time is just gonna crush us. Uh, they can't currently cast it though, so I can Thought Seize it away. I got a 4, but then I kill her Gideon. And then next turn I can flash back another Hero's Downfall, so maybe we're in an okay spot. Opt. Sure. Elspeth and Dig Through Time. Elspeth requires four cards to exile, so she's coming in no matter what, but I think getting rid of the Dig Through Time is slightly better. So, plus Chase. No, I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely... No, it's, it's just most of the time I'm just firing stuff off when I'm... When I'm doing stuff, it's—I mean, you can you can do it, but I should eventually learn. It's—it's it's weird because like there's some days where I just like I just all the time like I never walk into Ashiok. There's a whole day where I'll never walk into Narset, and then like just today, it's just I'm just awful. I'm just futzing around into everything. They have Narset into Elspeth here, which is pretty gross. Like they top decked a Narset again. It's a really good draw. They put Mystical Dispute in their hand. Sure, why not? So they get to play Elspeth with Mystical Dispute up. Awesome. Great. Super. Uh, I 
guess that's pretty good. Okay, so I can Noxious Grasp, and then I can flash back the Noxious Grasp, but that can't kill Nursa, and I can flash back the Hero's Downfall, and then I lose my Jace. I think I'm losing my Jace and my Nursa at this turn, no matter what, so that sucks, but I think that's where we are. Plus, Elspeth can escape. I don't have a way to get rid of him right now. I think that's where we're at, though. So, we finally get to see a Elspeth, Sun's nemesis, do some work, which I guess Roy will be happy about. But appearing as a one-of in some blue-white control lists is not really a metric for success as far as I'm concerned. Is this big Elspeth? No, yeah, no, that's the uh, escape, of course. Yeah, I think we're done to this. Without something like Kalitas to pull us back on life. Oh, they just went for the kill on me. Good for them. Yeah, I didn't even realize that was lined it. She, uh, Elspeth gives two creatures. Plus two, plus one. So they crack in for six there. Good play. So we're at three, one. Better than I... Surprised. Hey, and M Porter. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the match. Yeah, we're not playing inverter at all, by the way. I didn't really want to let you know that while we were. Yeah, we're gonna go for the four one. I've had a lot of four ones in the last little while. Um, I think a card that is good in a specific archetype is not a card that I would define as a good card. I think that is, like, slightly lower than good. Nice. Well, we're, we're shooting for 4-1 here. This is a reasonable hand, so I'm going to keep it. I want to say we've played against nothing but blue decks. Every, every deck has been a blue deck. What was the third one? The first two were in the Seif. The fourth one was was that my victim of night was just forced. This is the darkest timeline. What are you? Oh no, spirits. Uh, what are you playing? Popper. What do they? How do they? Did they foil it? Supreme Phantom. Wow, that's yeah. This is gonna be. Yeah. Okay. It's not a great hand against spirits. But we do have a reasonable sideboard plan full of sweepers, so just gonna have to be a little bit lucky there. <coughs> you are the trophy leader in standard? Good golly. I've been playing against really, really good players in the last little while. Are you playing EDH online? Oh, they miss a land drop. Oh, they didn't roy me. Do 
People keep saying I should play Control in Modern. It's like 1K ticks. Well, I mean, if you get a rental service, that's not unreasonable. I have found my experience with the rental services to be A++. Also, the Modern Trophy Leader is bad. I mean, I beat them, so they must be. There's, there's no... There's no other explanation, right? Spectral Sailor. So do I borrow their Phantom here? Make them recast it? I think so. Hey, Tempo Deck. How you like my Tempo? I've DQ'd them three times. Wait, what? No. The tunneling cat? Is that... Well, yeah, you, you need to own a small number of cards, and then all of a sudden it becomes much more manageable. Okay. Oh, well, uh, I should have done that before combat, but that's okay. Live and learn. The little edges are why I can never beat Burn and Spirits. That's that's the truth. That's the TLDR, is that I'm a bad player, I don't get the little edges where I need them, and that is what causes me to lose. Okay. So I can chase here, or I could drown something first. Either way, that doesn't get me to the chase flipping. So I'm pretty sure... If I played the field, I could have done it. Toss the swamp. Brazen borrower is a blocker. Is that better than playing the drown? Probably. Their second DCI suspension. Wow. So I'm gonna block one of these spectral sailors. It's a reasonable, reasonable choice at this point in the game for me, and this means my Jace is flipping next turn without having to cast anything, and then Jace can kind of uh, just take us away here. Gaia Reach is a good pickup. I don't think I need this field of ruin, but I'm definitely dumping the island instead. Take up on the spectral sailor. Maybe there's a rattle chains here, but that's fine because I've got everything I need for that. So I can just drown that. I think I will. That means I don't have to do anything else in this turn cycle. And then I've got flashback, fatal push. Narset, Notion Thief, Wheel Effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're playing the, uh, what is it, Days Undoing deck. It's blue black Days Undoing. Uh, I don't want to Guy Reach in this matchup, but I think I do want to try to pick off the Sailor while they're more tapped down. Yeah, uh, no action is not the best. I think I'm putting the Notion Thief into play. I should probably just do it now because uh, they can draw a land and they have Queller. So just do that. And then if they play a Flash creature and start beating up my Jace, that's fine. He's at 7 loyalty. So I think, yeah, this is pretty over. Yeah, I um, I like playing that setup in blue white control as well. When I when I did very very well with blue white control, I was always playing that setup in the deck, and I, I think it's very very good. Uh, I can attack now because this has negative one power. Maybe they have a spectral sailor, but then I get two of their creatures for it. It's probably not worth it, but upkeep great guy reach them. Oh, I should have left double black up there. I was thinking about the field, not the... Um, yeah, anyway. That's a good pickup, though. So this means I can more aggressively use the Jace that I have in play. Ooh, good draw. Sultai, Mirror Match, Inverter. Yeah. Yeah, I generally don't 
the the one time that I've played Inverter, I did not care for it. Okay, so I'm not going to field them with all their mana up because then they can collect a company, and I really do not care for them to be able to do that. Okay, uh, if I want to flashback anything this turn, I think we flashback a push and then Thoughtseize. No, I just Thoughtseize first. Played against a Simic ramp deck, the one the 4 eight. Yeah, we played against it twice at the beginning of this league, and we we lost the first one, but I kind of stomped all over them in the other two. So they let. Okay, so they have double Nimble Gas Herald. That's why. Okay. Gonna take their Queller. Gonna flash back the push. So the question is, do I want to shock a water grave in order to be able to both Gaia Reach and <coughs> or I could offer them the trade on the notion thief. With their Noble Gas Herald. I think, I think I can go offer trade. Okay, they took it. Just play the Jace as a replacement. Okay, and then they're on Herald, Eagle, Herald. Which is pretty good. Kill us real, real quick. Oh no, my Jace! He is tapping. This deck is is really good against the Simic Ramp deck because we just draw lock. Like we, we just like get to a wheel effect before they can sort of play their first threat, and then they're done. And we have Field of Ruin for their um, Mage Ring network, I believe is the card. Okay. So I push and drown in the lock in my yard. So, okay, this is attacking me? That's fine. So we're gonna go Jace, flashback, drown the lock, kill the eagle, play the, uh, flip the this Jace, and then flashback the push. So we're just gonna wipe them here. Do 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 and then I can upkeep, uh, hit them with the Notion Thief. Keep messing with their with their mana. Or not their mana, their cards. Raising borrowers are fine to pick up here. Do I treat myself to a pair or do I ration it until tomorrow? I don't know. Can you go pairless? Midnight here in Scotland. Keep an eye out for my stream. Well, thank you so much. If you hit that follow button, uh, you will have updates on when I go live. I can just bounce this now and then we're gonna upkeep mess with them again. I suppose I could play Narset now. And yeah, Narset drawing meter removal seems pretty good right now. Uh, Sinister Sabotage or Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize, I can take their collected company right now, but then I go to three. It's probably worthwhile. 
So they have two Nebel Gas Terrells. Alright. Threading the needle here. So bored with that human contact. Hey, you've got human contact. You've got uh, X-Mage, like you said. Those are humans. I mean, they're nerds, but you know. It's our people, Alex. You can't be cruel to them like that. Uh, push and drown. Alright, sure. So my deck just decided to vomit up like all Got it. Well, this one's fine. Suppose I could have countered that. Suppose I should have countered that. I'm gonna reduce its power, play Brazen Borrower, and then we're gonna upkeep Guy Reach them again. So, puts us. I guess slightly shields down, but I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I mean, even people who think that they're asocial, though, I think just being exposed to other humans is pretty great. So let's flash back a removal spell. I don't have one. Okay, let's make the Neville Gas Herald have no attack power. Let's go to combat. We're going to drown the one that they try to play. They didn't try to play one. Okay. And then I think I wheel them here. And I counter what they play. So I'm going to fetch first. One more blue. Oh, no, well, didn't have an option. Colorless, colorless, blue. Spin, two, win. I would like to draw 14, please. I guess again, Brazen Borrow were what they play? Yeah, that makes sense. Spell Queller. Also works. No. Petty theft. Spring. Cast. And 14 cards in hand. Okay. End step. Discard. That card. Discard. 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 And this card. Oh, and one more. Deck card. Cool. Are you going to be a pirate, Alex? Is that what you're telling me? Because that is my shtick. I want to do it there. End of turn. Oh uh, no! It's uh, if it's if it's your turn. There's a clause on um, days undoing that says if it's your turn. So they they thought about the fact that people would try to play it at instant speed. Alright, this is all removal spells on deck. Uh, green or white, that's a reasonable card. It's not the best. Ritual is excellent. Languish, excellent. Kalitas, excellent. Cast down, excellent. Oh, and Dispute's good. Well, so I think this is the matchup where we go. Combo out. Um... I think Notion Thief is probably better than Narset here, by a little. So if I go combo out, that's 7 for 9. And then I can cut 1 Notion Thief and 1... Well, maybe 2 Ops and just keep the Thieves. I think this is my sideboard plan against Spirits. Seems really good. It's too easily for easy for collective brutality to be blank um, against both their creatures and their hand. Maybe doggo. All right. You guys are having having a discussion about being in lockdown, so I'm gonna 
I'm going to be over here playing Magic. Hands a little soft, but it's got some interaction, and I just need a few lands. So I'm gonna keep it. Let's get lucky. I'm up all night to get. I'm up all day to get. Oh, cool. Shock that right in. <coughs> Beat the spooky boys, or they will win. Yeah, that's the goal. I mean, I top decked like literally one of the better cards in the deck, so. Let's see if we can get there. Rally Chain. I think I let that resolve and I push it. Yeah, because I don't have a way to enable res Revolt on my push right now. Get out of here. Psh. When I said I'd kill you last, I lied. I never told that Ralph Chains I was going to kill him last. I knew I was going to kill him first. He was very dead. Another Drowned Catacombs. Um, yeah, sure. Rattle Chains. I think on this one, I'm going to let it resolve, and then I'm going to borrow or petty theft it. There's a chance that they then main phase collected company, but I think that's okay. Push, leave, dispute up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I went with. Okay, if they main phase Coco here, then we just hope for a bad Coco. I do have Legion's End, which could get them pretty hard, so... And we have a hero's downfall. They shock and then sit. It's gotta be a misplay, right? I guess we're about to find out. So if they okay. so they're just replaying rattle chains. I can dispute and have hero's downfall up, so I think we're gonna do that. I can just play the Brazen Borrower as a blocker. It's still hard to choose. They can't quell her right now, unless you're talking about. Downfall and then recounter the rattle. What are you talking about? They don't have three mana right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because Legion's End can hit that, I think I'm going to play Brazen Borrower with Mystical Dispute up. I want to fire off this Legion's End where possible. They don't know it exists, so there is a chance that they walk something into it. I think, I think I quell that, just to be mana efficient. And the next turn I have legions and heroes downfall. Suppose it wasn't actually all that frightening. We'll see if that was right. Probably wasn't. Probably was supposed to let that resolve. <laughs> oh, Alex. All right, do I block here? Can they double lord? If they double lord, I get the legions and them back, so I think that's okay. Okay. This is the the Simpsons moment where where all the the mobsters fold to Homer because they're trying to suck up to him and just go, "I was bluffing." All right, I'm gonna fire off this legions end here since I don't think that there's gonna be a better target. <clears throat> We've basically just one for one them to death. Uh, if Maelstrom Wanderer goes to the... This exiles it, right? So hopefully they sack in response. Queller. So if I let the Queller enter the battlefield, and then I Heroes downfall it, then their Mausoleum Wanderer will have enough...
power to, but that doesn't matter. So I think I let this resolve, and then I Heroes Downfall it, and then I recast the Legion's End. Oh, no, 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 because this is going to, yeah, okay, so they're, they're going to be able to, okay, I see, I see. So I think we just counter that. It sucks to not have a counter up for Collected Company, but... Okay. Would I like to pay the one? Yes. It's fine. So they don't have company here. I'm in good shape. Sailor. Damn. Oh, wait. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> this is where my deck gets to do the thing that it... Uh... All right. Thanks, little deck. You're... You're so good at what you do. Uh, what if I legacied you, friend? What if you just got legacied? What? What then, huh? Tilt my opponent off the face of the earth. Sure. <laughs> it's too late. Okay, they've got two mana up. Um, Deputy of Detention is not a spirit, so the only thing that beats me here on the Hero's Downfall is Selfless Spirit, which I haven't seen out of them yet. I think getting Kali Toss through right now is probably the better thing to do, and then just have the Downfall next turn. I don't think they have any way to stop Kali Toss from coming down there, so should be close to GG with that. Another sailor, sure. So that puts them on zero cards in hand. All right, they had zero, so just need to beat one card. Yeah, Notion Thief versus Sailor wrecked a uh, previous player too. Ooh, please main phase drop. Wow. I mean, yeah, that's that's a card you could draw. Okay. So my deck is currently a pile of removal. So I can Heroes Downfall and then upkeep Notion Thief them. I think they're locked out then. So we're going to do that. And then I just need to draw a way to win the game by that point. Or, uh, sorry, a way to stop them from killing me. I'd like to draw two discard one, please. Oh, fatal push. Sick. That'll do. Okay, so Notion Thief doesn't stop them from getting their draw step. I'm a goof. But if they make my Notion Thief leave the battlefield, I could just blow them out. And now they can't activate their Spectral Sailor, so I put myself in a pretty good spot. He's in London, right? London, Ontario. The gallbladder of Ontario. There you go. Get in there. So luckily I have this field of ruin to enable revolt. And this other field of ruin to enable revolt. So we're going to try to attack here. Whatever they have, they will get sabotaged if they try to do it. Cool. I'll play the field. Activate this field. Probably should attack one of their green sources, but that's fine. I don't want to black mana right now. And then I'm going to do the next part during their end step, because they actually bothered to float the one. Cool. Well, my Kali toss back, you can keep your Spectral Sailors. Cool. I'm not going to upkeep um, 
Gyre Reach because it doesn't prevent their draw step, so it's not as worth doing, and tapping off of my Sinister Sabotage seems like a pretty bad idea right now. Alright, they've got one card, they're done. This is over. Especially if they attack with both. <laughs> I mean, I guess not especially, but... Oh, wow. It's like my deck full of removal has removal in it. I don't know. So it looks like we hit the 4-0, which is pretty good. It's happy to see um, a non-inverter blue-black deck doing well, and there we go. Opponent conceded and disconnected. So another 4-0 to add to the week. That's like three or four of them, no, four or five of them this week. It's been a good week. Uh, anywho, this deck was sweet. Uh, I think if I had played the entire match against blue, white, better, tighter overall, uh, it could have gone better, and possibly I made some questionable choices with sideboarding. But this is a really sweet deck that you could be playing in Pioneer right now. Um, people are definitely going to think you're on Inverter. Uh, if you sequence your plays correctly, you can surprise Notion Thief them. And people are just not expecting a lot of the things that this deck is doing. Even Narset is part of most inverter lists right now so um, until you play the days undoing or the notion thief they're not really going to know what's up um, guy reach i guess is sneaking into those lists as well uh this was a blast and uh so check check it out check 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 it out right now um i think that's it for me this week so i'll be back next monday with some more decks i'm not going anywhere i'm not leaving the country yet uh, because of the whole situation global pandemic and all that so i will be back next week if you're watching this on youtube after the fact thank you so much for coming out here hit that like button smash that subscribe button and check out some of my other wonderful videos most of them modern and then a little bit less than half pioneer and a couple of legacy those are super sweet if there's anything you want me to play if you have any comments about my plays throw them in the comments below the youtube video and you can check me out on mana symbol uh, C Y M B A L at twitch and twitter you guys have yourself a fantastic weekend fantastic week stay healthy stay safe